pretty much what the property manager is he's just about at that point all I see is garbage every day more garbage I know right you're not a scrapper. More piles of garbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of like that. What are you doing with all the TVs? Well, like a while ago, quite a while ago, there was a, I don't know, a fellow tenant that would just, here's a TV, and they would just drop it off. I'm like, no. But they would just drop them off, and I, uh, <clears throat> I piled them all in this corner here because, you know, getting rid of them is... That's a lot to ask. That's probably why they dumped them off on me. I haven't seen this corner of the compound since I've been a tenant here, really, pretty much. It's just been filled with trash heaps of... Is actually getting rid of something. Yeah, I need to clear the space out back here so I can utilize this place like as designed or as intended, which never has happened. Look at them transformers. Yeah, you know, Ian Matthew said to get a, a carbide tip. Saw blade. Maybe I'll put it on that thing right there. I don't even know what size that is. Six inch? Something like that. Oh, I found another train set too. That one's not missing any pieces. It's all charged up. We are ready to go. So each one has got $112 worth of copper on there. So that means each power unit is $204. Yeah, about what 224 in copper something like that give or take because they vary slightly I got 11 of them and uh, tis the season I'm showing off. Oh yeah, right here. Tis the season for more transformers. I got about 30 of them today. 
It's worth about maybe seven hundred dollars or there, thereabouts. Let's crack them open. These are a lot easier than than the ones I'm working on right now. You just crack that weld with a hammer and tear into the copper. Just hammer it out, and uh, there you go. You liberated the copper, ready to be recycled once again. You. What's a good word on the tire machine? Well, it's sitting outside rusting away. That's what the good word is there. Ah, we're getting there slowly. Slowly. I have not torn into that thing yet. Did you all see inside yet, or no? Basically, the box itself is made out of aluminum. The frame is steel, and this little hoarder valley for, you know, the wire and whatever tools, those are all steel. And the copper, the copper is epic. Look at the size of that freaking transformer, and there's two of them in there. One on this side and one on the other. That is quite the mother load. Plus there's wiring and circuit boards. I don't know, the estimated value of this wagon right here is between everything. It's probably around a thousand dollars in scrap. And they got they have a few more there. I have to go and get <clears throat> they're inside the hangar so I don't know why they brought them back inside the hangar I guess they were going to try and repair them or something but they're so out of date <clears throat> I think the the value of repairing them is just not not worth it. Oh, these things right here. It's got like a brass, <clears throat> a brass head that use uh, Allen wrenches to get those screws off. <clears throat> I swear to God. I don't know, you have to have like a Allen, Allen key made out of like titanium or something because all those cheap old Harbor Freight ones, they uh, strip out and they strip out the screw and you ain't getting it off of there. That, I don't know, I was going to sell it, but nobody interested. Can you believe that? Mr. Scrapperty is able to sell them like hotcakes, especially this time of the season. <clears throat> that one needs too much repair. Same thing with this. This is garbage. And it's the same story with the, the Allen head. Getting it off of there is like... Maybe I'll just scrap them as uh, aluminum. <laughs> Get my money back that way. Call it clean aluminum, maybe. This sure is a nightmare that I'm trying to share with everybody. Look how long this shoe has been sitting here. Yep, that's a shoe. Uh, there's some old rusty tools and stuff in there. I haven't seen any of that stuff in, like, eons. I 
Are you sure you don't have rats, King? I've never seen any. I don't know. If, if there are some, I've, I've never seen them. There's no food, so... I don't think they'd be drawn to it very much. Well, you never know. Oh, no, we gotta go to the bathroom. Well, that's what's going on today. Just more cleaning. Not really searching for scrap. I've got a sufficient amount of copper to maybe barely pull me through these uh, man-made lean times. Oh, I'm stand I need new shoes. I'm standing too long. <clears throat> I guess my kid was supposed to come here and help me, but once again, you know, you know how it is when you got a girlfriend. It's uh, <laughs> Dad is not a priority. Not a priority. <laughs> Plus his girlfriend's kind of cute, so I don't blame him. I mean, I wouldn't let her out of my sight. <laughs> you. Not as hot as Sammy, I'm sorry, though. But, you know... Good enough. Good enough for dad. Stare into my copper.